Good morning, everyone. It's a very good morning, as it is cruise ship morning. Today we are on board the Carnival Sunrise. In this video here, we're gonna show you everything the Carnival Sunrise has to offer, from the bars and the drinks, to the restaurants and the food, all the activities on board. I go by the legend, joined by my wonderful girlfriend, Molly, in this video here. Hi. And we're beginning the tour on the pool deck, as it's kind of the heart and soul of any cruise ship. Mm -hmm. You do have one pretty good sized pool up here right below the Jumbotron. Now the Jumbotron, they'll show movies in the evening on. They also do movies on port days for matinees. Really nice. There'll be a Caribbean music out here with a steel drums band. There are two different hot tubs. They do deck parties. Yeah, there's a big 80s deck party. There's a whole bunch of cantilevered seating. So if you do want to get some sun. And there you can see the Carnival Waterworks, the two big water slides, not, not very thrilling water slides. No, it's definitely slow. Yeah, and you also have the tipping bucket splash pad area. Now it wouldn't be a pool bar without, oh, it wouldn't be a pool deck without pool bars, and they have two of them on board. Over there on the left is the Red Frog Rum Bar, which is my preferred, I'm a big fan of rums and uh, you know tropical cocktails, so that's my preferred pool bar. The other one is the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar, so more margaritas. But the, uh, the pool deck's been pretty popular. I'm excited uh, in about an hour the Minions are gonna be on and I wanna hop in that uh, jacuzzi, have some rum drinks and watch the Minions. But that's the pool deck. Let's go show you the rest of the ship. On deck 11 up by the funnel, you get the sports square area where they have a half court basketball court. They do play a couple of games. Like there's like a knockout challenge later on today. You get some weird outdoor gym equipment. I think my favorite part is that they have these outdoor pool tables. Yes. They also have shuffleboard and cornhole. Yeah, as well as foosball and a pretty small scale RCI ropes course. They do have the walk the plank element, but it's not as cool as some cruise ships because some cruise ships, it goes over the side of the ship. This one, it just kind of goes over the jogging path. Right now we are in the Liquid Lounge. This is the main show theater on board the Carnival Sunrise. It's located on decks four and five in the very front of the ship. And while it's been used for bingo and Dr. Zeus and stuff like that, the main purpose of this is for like big shows in the evening. On night one, there was a Welcome Aboard show. On night two, a big production show called Vintage Pop. Which I liked. You had music from the 20s and 30s, and then recent artists like Ed Sheeran and, and Dell. So I found it very interesting. I thought it was kind of dull, but I was also pretty drunk. Um, night three was the Love and Marriage show. Mm -hmm. Always very popular. And tonight is Soulbound, a big supernatural New Orleans -y show, which we've seen in the past, and it's very good. It is really good. On deck 12 and 14 in the front of the ship is the adults only serenity area. Now, there have been a lot of kids on our ship, yes. so uh, this definitely has come in handy. You have a giant hot tub out here, and a lot of the other ones have been swamped with children. And the bar here has a special menu. Yes. And it has a lot of sangrias. Yep, and uh, this will run in the afternoons. We're filming this in the morning at this point. But a uh, pretty nice, relaxing area. On deck 14 in the Serenity area, you do have these wonderful day beds, a little bit covered, along with some big padded loungers and cuddle pods. I've always found the placement of Serenity Lounge very odd. And yeah. It's the same deck. Yeah, you would love those the kids, water little kids yell and scream and hop on the water slides right there, right next to the adults only section. It's a very odd place. Some nice chairs in the deck 14 Serenity area as well. We are right now in the atrium on deck three. Having a couple of martinis. I do enjoy the martinis here in the atrium bar. I'm drinking the tiramisu, which is a really nice dessert martini. Also really like the Ultimate XO. They've got all sorts of other stuff here. Now there's gonna be some nuts and bolts things in the atrium area. They're gonna have the shore excursion desk, a photo studio, as well as your guest services area. And then uh, it's used a lot for music. In the evenings from like five till around midnight or so, there's music in the atrium. They also do atrium parties. Yep. We had a Motown, and I think there's a, a like music a, trivia. Yeah, kind of like tonight. a goodbye party tonight. Uh, and um, sometimes in, during the day, especially on port days, like we're at right now, this will become the, the trivia bar until the other bars open up. I do love the glass elevators that they have in the atrium area. I always find them to be neat. We're going up, 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 up. Right to the water slides. 
located at the very end of the promenade deck on deck five is my favorite spot here on board the sunrise and that is the alchemy bar now this is your craft cocktail board on board the ship and it is it's fantastic they have a wonderful menu full of really great drinks so sure you'll have everything like molly you're drinking something on the menu right now the french kiss cocktail yes which has sparkling wine as well as vanilla vodka and chambord in there i really like the deal closer as an after dinner drink the hearts of fire really nice raspberry gin drink the youthful uh, and bold is really good yep. Lots of good stuff and lots of interesting stuff. And you can order just really whatever you want as well. Uh, the guy next to me ordered a Buffalo Trace Old Fashioned. I'm like, you know what? That sounds incredible. I want one of those. Now, if you want a Bud Light or type of beer, this would not be your place. No, but also you could get really nice martinis. I had a chocolate mint martini. I had a strawberry martini, a raspberry martini, all sorts of stuff. And uh, my favorite bar is where I've had m more drinks than anything on the ship. On deck four, you'll find the Limelight Lounge, which is a lounge really used in the evening times, and it serves two different purposes. In the earlier evening, it's home to the Punchliner Comedy Club, and I think on every night of our four-night cruise, there are three comedy shows, a 8 o'clock PG show, an adult show at 9 and 10, and then at 11 p.m., it becomes the ship's nightclub. Each night on the nightclub, there's also different theme nights, so it'll be like the first hour of the nightclub would be Caribbean night or 90s night, and I thought that was a really fun way of having a nightclub. Towards the end of the promenade, deck five, right by the Alchemy Bar and the Red Frog Pub, you get Piano Bar 88, which is the piano bar on board. Mm -hmm. And uh, the piano guy on our ship is a man named Russell Blues. It's pretty fun. He's good. Yeah, I do. We'll say uh, we were on a four night cruise. The first night we were in here for probably about a half an hour. The second night we were busy with deck parties and uh, big theater shows, so we didn't come in here at all. Night three, he was off. So tonight I definitely want to spend some time in here enjoying that. But uh, it does get pretty busy. So just, if you want a spot, maybe get there a little bit early or come in a little bit later. One of my favorite spots for lunch is right on the pool is Guy's Burger Joint. Now it runs from like noon till about 6 p.m. I do think the burgers and buns have changed up a little bit since it's bigger in the past. I think they've gotten smaller in size, but they are still delicious. It's also have a very nice topping bar. I love those crispy potato sticks. One really neat thing about Guy's Burgers here on the Carnival Sunrise is that they open the Guy's Burgers for breakfast. Molly's got the primetime turkey right here, which is a turkey sausage patty, provolone cheese, maple donkey sauce, as well as gravy, so kind of like a Thanksgiving burger. They also have burgers with like fried eggs and bacon on top. Right now we're on deck 10, directly above the buffet at Cucina del Capitano. Now this is an upcharged Italian restaurant for dinner, but during lunch it becomes a made-to-order pasta bar. Hey, the pasta bar works is you get your choice and you get a, a pencil and you just fill out exactly what you want. Choice of pasta, linguine, penne, or bow ties. You get a tomato basil sauce, white clam sauce, meat sauce, alfredo, or butter. All sorts of toppings. Then you can get a Caesar salad, some bread, a meat lasagna. Uh, you also could get some wine, or I believe it's the only place on board you might be able to get the Peroni beer. I do like this. Went pretty normal on my pasta. Got bow ties with Alfredo, grilled chicken, and Italian sausage, and some bread. Heat it up for the bread, which looks pretty fancy. This came out before the pasta. And here's what the pasta looks like. A pretty good sized portion with the sausage, chicken, Alfredo sauce, and bow ties. Right by the pool, you'll find the Blue Iguana Cantina, which is kind of like a, a Moe's or a Chipotle. Yes. And for lunchtime, if you go on that line over there, that's where you get burritos. That line over there would be for tacos. This also operates for breakfast and serves arepas, huevos rancheros, and make your own breakfast burrito station. My favorite breakfast spot. And they also have a, a pretty good sized topping bar for the tacos and burritos with lots and lots of hot sauces. Fun option for lunch is the Guy's Pig and Anchor Smokehouse, which is at a, it's a free venue, but it's only open on rare occasions. It'll be open on embarkation day and then on sea days and serves all sorts of barbecue. Let's check out what's for lunch. There's baked beans, collard greens with turkey, smoked beef, the championship pork bun, my personal favorite, blue ribbon chicken, and dewy sausage, mac and cheese, and a couple of sides. Another very interesting option for lunch in the buffet area is called Lucky Bowl. Now, this is going to be an Asian inspired free restaurant, so it's included with the cross your cruise. It'll run from about noon till 2 30, and there's three different types of bowls every day, and the bowls will change. If you check your Carnival Hub app, It'll tell you which bowls are on each day. Like I saw it was Korean fried chicken day. I'm like, oh, we got to go. Yeah. But then I'm, I see this pork as well. I'm like, oh, that also looks pretty good. 
And after you get your bowl, there's all sorts of fun toppings, miso sauce, sriracha, toasted sesame seeds, Cantonese pickle, and these two I'll probably go for. Fried garlic and fried onion. So we got two bowls for lunch. Uh, Molly got the Korean fried chicken, and I got the pork. Now this is a cuisine I'm not very familiar with, but I feel like there's no better time to try something that you might not like on a cruise when you're not really paying for it. I, I give it a thumbs up. You know, not something I would eat every single day of the cruise, but it's a nice kind of curveball. You can tell like a little skimpy on the meat, as opposed, there's lots of other stuff in the bowls that is not meat, as opposed to the pictures that look like all meat. I'm shocked the chicken has a spicy like, taste. Yeah, this, the chicken's got a zing to it. Right now we're on deck nine, the Lido deck, all the way in the back of the ship where you get the back pool. Now this pool is gonna be a little bit quieter as there might be like loud music in the front pool. That doesn't tend to happen out here in the back pool. There are also two hot tubs. Mm -hmm. There's a drink station and a soft serve ice cream machine. If I turn around, there's gonna be what's called the seafood shack. Now we're here at breakfast time. So instead of the upcharge seafood restaurant that'll be in the afternoons, it is a spur buffet. So you're gonna have some limited options as well as an omelet station. And it's a good tip because if the lines are long inside, come out here to the back in the seafood shack and you can get your omelets probably with a quicker wait. Oh yes. On the other side of the pool on deck nine, you'll find a couple of more important things like this pool bar, the Tides Bar, which will run some very, very, very long hours as it had opened at at least 9 a.m. this morning. It's usually really busy now. Yes. Also, normally really busy in the evenings, but not so much right now, is Pizzeria Del Capitano. Now, this is the included with the cost of your cruise pizza place. Open from about 9 in the morning until 4 in the morning, so run some really long hours. They do offer five different types of pizza. It is a very, very good quality pizza. Uh, one thing, after 11 p.m., this does become the only complimentary food option on board, so lines could get long but the pizza quality is strong. If you're curious what the pizza looks like, this is it. It's a very, very nice quality pizza. Obviously, I got the pepperoni. And you get a pretty good sized portion as well. Look at it in the buffet area, you'll find the Carnival Deli. Now this is gonna run longer hours than the traditional buffet. I believe it runs from about 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. You get a selection of hot and cold sandwiches, buffalo chicken, meatballs, both ham and cheese, Reuben, Cuban mixed dough, steak and cheese, hot dog, Tomato, mozzarella, chicken salad, tuna, BLT, turkey, and Swiss in the Southwest chicken wrap. I love the buffalo chicken sandwich. I do modify it a little bit. I ask for it on the pretzel bun and have them add cheese. And I am now very excited to eat this. Located on deck nine in the back of the ship, you'll find the Lido Marketplace Buffet. Right now, we are at lunch on a pork day. Let's go check out what is for lunch. Line starts with a build your own salad station. Pretty good amount of options on there as well. A lot of options. Salad options continue, even bacon bits. Mm -hmm. So if you want some bacon for your guy's burger, you might come over here and, and put some on. That's a good idea since they got rid of that. Yeah. They did have it for the breakfast burgers though. And then a selection of various cold salads. And now we've made it to the good stuff. There's a big giant paella. Look at that sausage and chicken on there. That looks really good. There's a ziti uh, forno. Really cheesy. Cajun garlic butter fish. A chicken marsala. A smothered pork, that looks pretty good. Along with a ratatouille, a mashed potatoes, and fried broccoli. For every lunch and dinner, there is a carving station on the buffet. Today is something I really like. That is barbecue beef brisket. Absolutely. Moving along, there is a soup of the day every day. Today is a vegetable soup. Get some cold cuts to make yourself a sandwich with. Along with some grilled focaccia bread. That looks just lovely. There's a mozzarella station featuring fried mozzarella, tomatoes, and something called well, that, I don't know what that is. And then I always love the lunch has a cake buffet featuring different types of cakes. These cakes will change out every single day. Today we got a pink peach cake, a German chocolate cake, classic cake with fudge frosting, a Linzer tort. Look at that. It's a mint cookies and cream cake, and then a traditional key lime pie. 
in the buffet area, you do have a drink station. These are all be complimentary drinks, things like lemonade, iced tea. That is juices in the morning. There is water as well as coffee and tea. So there's a selection of teas over here. In the back of the buffet area, there is a food allergy assistant in case you have some, some issues and you want to find out what you can have and what you can't have. Also in the buffet area, during the mornings, you'll find a coffee bar where you could get uh, fancy coffees and cappuccinos, espressos. Right by the entrance to the buffet, by the pool, you do get some of these soft serve machines, frozen yogurt, and ice cream. We are currently in the Red Frog Pub, which is located on the Promenade Deck 5. And it's a very, very big lounge. Giant. Yeah, there's lots of things that happen in here. Foosball and uh, shuffleboard. shuffleboard. And they'll do a lot of stuff in here. Um, it'll be a trivia bar in the afternoons. They're about to start up karaoke. It's been the karaoke bar every night on the cruise from about 5 till 8. And then in the later evenings, they will have musicians in here. They also have game shows sometime here, too. Yeah, that's true. Like really fun game shows around like 8.30. Mm -hmm. um, this is a big fun menu in here. Uh, my personal favorite, they have the best selection of rums on the ship. So my go-to drink in here is this guy right there. It is a bamboo rum from the Barbados. And it is delicious. You've got like, some vanilla notes in there. It's also a really good place to be like the carnival beers. They have all six of the carnival beers on draft. It's brewed exclusively for carnival by Brew Hub over in Lakeland, Florida, in between Tampa and Orlando. And Molly's drinking one of those right now, and that's the Thirsty Frog Hard Seltzer. Mm -hmm. But they've got all of them in here. And if you're not on the beverage bucket, you do like samplers as well. But uh, this is a, a pub we spent a lot of time in. There are some really comfy chairs as well, like towards the front, close to the promenade area, some really comfy chairs. Uh, one minor critique about the bar, they've got TV screens, but all they show is something that says Red Frog Pub, and then it tells you Freight Master recommended indoors, and that's the only two things the TV has played the entire cruise. I will walk this way just to show you off where the foosball is. You got the people playing it down there. It's sort of hidden off into the back is the foosball table as well as the shuffleboard. But uh, lots of seating in here, so you never really have to worry about getting there too, too early. And uh, a wonderful, wonderful spot on the ship. Directly underneath the Carnival Whale Tail Funnel, up here on the tippy top deck of Deck 14, is the mini golf course on board the Carnival Sunrise. A pretty nice nine hole mini golf course. Mm -hmm. One thing though, we're in port and it is super windy up it here. Is. Really, really windy. And uh, I can imagine this would have been like yesterday on a sea day. Now, a Carnival does like to use these foam golf balls, so. Um, with the breeze, they will just roll and blow absolutely everywhere. Uh, I do recommend if you have your own golf ball, pack it in your bag. It'll make your game much more fun if you don't want, you know, that to happen to you. Uh, Molly, unfortunately, I beat you by a good six, six, six or oh, seven. Oh, there goes the ball! And there it goes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But a uh, fun, fun golf course. Awesome uh, photo op of the Yeah. World. Located in between the casino and the atrium on deck five, you get the Skybox Sports Bar, which is the main sports bar on board the ship. Uh, really good air conditioning in here. Right now it's 2 p.m. on a sea day, so it's not particularly crowded. Um, we're not here on like an NFL football Sunday, but they do get the NFL games. I mean, I'm enjoying this. We're gonna, I'm drinking a martini. I'm watching this world's strongest man competition where they're carrying uh, two giant lockers, I think. That is what they're carrying. And they got a whole bunch of big TVs. Uh, we're both bringing the Skybox Martini, which is a, a, a really, really nice martini. Uh, Grey Goose Vodka, St. Germain Cranberry Juice. I will say this is the first Carnival cruise ship I've seen the Skybox Martini be a pre-mixed drink, so I don't really care for that. But I do like the sports bar. Also, while a lot of the other bars might be crowded, unless there's like a big game going on, this one could be quiet. And if a ga big game is going on, get here early. Yeah. It's small. <laughs> Looking in the back of the ship on decks three and four is the Sunshine Restaurant. Now on our cruise, it's the restaurant that you dine at if you have the anytime dining. You check in on the app, it gives you a projected wait time, and then you go to your table. And here's the dining room, the two level dining room, a very modern aesthetic. And we have sat down at our table. Uh, the dining room menus are on QR codes, you have to scan them with your phone. I'm assuming if your phone died or, or you just didn't bring your phone with you, they'd probably give you one. Yeah, I think they have them. And uh, we're going to walk you through what we have for dinner. 
Dinner service does begin with bread, as, as is the tradition. Um, you've offered a selection of bread. There's like two different types of breads. Sometimes you get two dips, sometimes you get one dip. Today we just got a very nice whipped butter. It is appetizer time. For my appetizer, I went for a barbecue chicken flatbread, which is a pretty good size appetizer. And Molly, yours looks fantastic. You got the French onion soup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that layer of cheese. <laughs> the appetizers, Molly, you got the winner. Uh, you can also do a trick that I, I do, where you take the little piece of bread and the cheese and you plop it out, because that's the tasty part. Also, it's very hot. It's hot, and it lets it cool down faster. Now, unlike your meal, mine is not very hot. It's like eating cold pizza. It is dinner time. Molly got the shrimp creole, which looks very good. My main course has arrived. I got the cornmeal crusted fried chicken. I'm a big fan of fried chicken or chicken tenders, so I'm just I'm really going to enjoy this. As I expected, I really, really enjoy my dish. Uh, the mashed potatoes are very flavorful, and the, uh, the crusting on the fried chicken is fantastic. <coughs> Molly, how is the jambalaya? It has a really nice seasoning to it. <laughs> Dessert time, we're very traditional. I think we're only like three or four main options for dessert. Molly got a very good looking apple pie, and I got the traditional carnival dining room dessert, the warm chocolate milky cake. Located on deck three, you'll find some exterior walking paths. Now these don't go all the way around the ship, but if you need some fresh air, it might be a good place to come and get a little bit of that. As it does get pretty, uh, uh, you know, you're on a smaller ship, so if it starts rocking and rolling, you can really feel it, and sometimes that fresh air does help. Also a great place to see the sunsets. Something that's kind of neat, if you go all the way to the front of the ship on deck 10, you get to this area, kind of like a quiet, secretish sun deck. It's not pretty. No. But it's quiet, and relaxing. And if you, you want to watch sailing into or out of a port, and you don't need to be near a bar or a party, this is a, a very nice spot to do that. You do have to walk past like staterooms and stuff, so it's not the easiest thing to find. I do quite enjoy the aesthetic of the Carnival Sunrise. The ship feels very, very modern. Now, this was an older Carnival cruise ship. A couple years back, they did spend hundreds of millions of dollars, changed its name, and now it's the Carnival Sunrise. And as a result, this old ship does feel very newish. On deck nine in the front of the ship is where you'll find the Cloud Nine Spa. And now this is where if you want to buy massages and treatments, you could do it here. There's also a salon area. So if you want to get all fancied up for a formal night, you could do that. There's also a thermal suite area, which is kind of cool. Uh, variations, a couple different types of saunas in there and the heated loungers. That's something you have to buy a pass for. And now something that didn't cost anything, this is where the gym is located on board the Carnival Sunrise. And it was a pretty good sized gym. I actually went in there on uh, sea day and it was really, really busy. I was shocked. Located on deck five in the middle of the ship, you'll find the casino on board the Carnival Sunrise. A uh, pretty good sized casino, very modern. Yes, uh, and it's been pretty busy too. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you can't have a casino, of course, without a casino bar. They do have some TVs, one of the only bars with TVs. Yep. And they have all sorts of games in here, everything from you know games that I enjoy, like video poker, to the, the coin pushing game, to some of the super duper modern slot machines. Now with the coin pusher machine, we've never seen the X. Yeah, like you have, to collect, you have to collect all five ships to get one of bonus hundred dollars. But the S has never made an appearance, no. making it we impossible. We check every single time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can see all the casino games. We'll go over here. They do have a couple of these cash claw type machines. Always busy. Yep, pretty much every time you walk by, you do see somebody playing them. Uh, if you like scratch offs, you can play scratch offs out of a vending machine over there. We are getting into the table game section of the casino. And the table games offered here on board the ship are Craps, Blackjack, Ultimate Fun 21, Let It Ride, Heads Up, Texas Hold'em, Three Card Prime Poker, and Roulette. They also will have some of these games that I like too, where you essentially are playing table games with video versions of it. So they have one for Roulette and they have one for Blackjack. That way in case you're, I guess, a little bit more shy, or you don't know exactly how to play and you don't wanna risk the awkwardness of playing at a table with some, you know, gambling experts, you can play them over here. It is smoking in here, but they do a very good job of ventilation. Yes, because you have to walk to get anywhere on deck five. You have to walk directly through the casino. Also, if you're trying to get to the Limelight Lounge, which is the comedy club and the nightclub, that's on deck four, but you enter through the casino on deck five. Located in the front of the ship on deck 12 is where you'll find all the kids clubs on board. Camp Ocean for the youngest of kids. And then Circle C and Club 02 for the kids that are a little bit older. 
Molly, you and I are not children. No, nope, we So are we are not. not going to be going into the kids' clubs. But this is where they are located. On deck 10, on the starboard side of the ship, right underneath the big carnival funnel, you will have the biggest smoking area on board the ship. And I am not a smoker, but I will say, like, this is pretty nice. Yeah, it's Look really these nice couches. lounges and yeah. umbrellas for shade. We're right now on deck 10, right above the buffet, and we're gonna have a fancy dinner tonight. It's an $18 upcharge, so, but we've had this before. It's the Cucina del Capitano, which is the Italian dinner restaurant. Big old fancy menu they gave you. And a big menu too. The appetizer soups and salad, there's some antipas and arancini, calamari, uh, clams and mussels, known as meatball, minestrone soup, house-made burrata, uh, another salad, I think, a Caesar salad, a selection of sides. Then you get to the entrees and the pastas. You know, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce some of these. <laughs> Had a couple of adult beverages today, so that would really make me ride the struggle bus. It's kind of fun. They do have a, a variety of bellinis as well. And then, as you would expect with an Italian restaurant, you a fair amount of wines. Let's see, we've got the desserts. It's like three different desserts, and then specialty coffees, and after dinner liqueurs. So we have ordered, with the $18, you get one appetizer, one side, one entree, and one dessert. And they bring out a very nice portion of cheesy Italian bread, oh my gosh. The appetizer course has arrived. After that bread, that bread is so good. It's so good. I got the arancini, which is fried rice balls. And Molly got a beautiful house-made burrata cheese. I absolutely love this appetizer. It is like rice and cheese on the inside of a deep fried ball with really nice Parmesan kind of cheese on top and a good sauce. Mine is fabulous, if you like cheese. And yours is a, it's cold cheese, right? Mm-hmm. The main course has arrived. I got the tomahawk pork chop, which is a very, very healthy portion. For my side dish, I got a side of the gnocchi, uh, much larger than I'm used to. Uh, Molly got the beef cavatelli pasta, it looks really good, along with the fingerling potatoes. That just be advice, you are on deck 10 on the back of the ship, so like, if it's rocking and rolling, you're gonna feel it, and we are indeed feeling it here at main course time. Sharing some quick thoughts on the entrees. I think the winner is this pork chop. It is delicious. It's the seasoning so on it, every bit of it's fantastic. Uh, the gnocchi is a bit odd. It, it doesn't really taste like gnocchi to me, more like like kind of like a rapa. Uh, Molly's pasta is solid. Tastes but, like pasta, but not not incredible. Well, I am very very full after that. A honking portion of pork. The dessert course has indeed showed up. I got a caramel apple pie. All the desserts I believe are served with gelato. And Molly is a coffee brownie type thing. Located on deck five in the middle of the promenade deck is Banzai Sushi. Now this is gonna be an upcharge sushi place, but the prices are pretty reasonable. You know, oh, this, yeah. this is not like going to the steakhouse where it's $48 a person. And it's been pretty busy every night. You could sit over here in the more traditional tables or you could sit over there and be right up next to the sushi bar. This is also where you come and pick up your water shuttle tickets if you're out at a tender port. On deck four in the atrium area, right next to the Radiance restaurant, which is the restaurant on our cruise for guests with that set time dining, is where you'll find the Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. It's a steakhouse that's open for dinner. It is gonna cost you about $48 a person to eat here. I've eaten at Carnival Steakhouse before. I think they're a really good meal. So if you want something special or you're celebrating, you know, a birthday or an anniversary, it is a, a pretty good place to do that. But you know, $48 a person is a hefty price. On deck five, right in the atrium area, you'll find the warehouse arcade. And a decent arcade. You know, it's not the biggest arcade you'll see on a cruise ship, but man, they put as much stuff in there as they possibly can. Yes. Star I like when they do this, where you like, you win the, the smaller prizes, like the plushies, or you could win the, the giant prizes, like PS4 bundled with a GoPro. You win iPhones, tons of tickets. Now, if you win any prizes, you don't cash them in at a machine, 
or not a person, you catch them in at this machine. Here's some of the, the stuff you could win. First, you would take your tickets, put it in that ticket station machine, and then bring that over here. Let's see, we've got. Oh, baby Yodas! Oh, you could win baby Yodas. And uh, the Rayman Raving Rabbits, which is a really cool VR ride. I do love any of these air hockey machines where they drop millions of pucks on you. That's, that's always super fun. A small version of Piano Keys, Punch the Bag, uh, Mission Impossible. It's a pretty fun game where you can win uh, multiple lollipops or just one lollipop, depending on how lucky you are. Yeah, the times I've played, I've only won one. I love this basketball machine with the, the screen on in the background. Some of my favorite games are over here. Things like Ski Ball, Milk Jug Toss, Down the Clown, Gold Fishing and Let's Bounce. We've got Jurassic Park Arcade, Fireball. We saw people playing this for a while yesterday trying to win themselves a Nintendo Switch. Got a big Monopoly game, Big Bass Wheel, racing game. Uh, nobody has won the Giant Panda. I don't think I've ever seen a Giant Panda in a machine at the corner. Angry Birds Coin Crash is a pretty fun game as well. You get the big giant tower of coins like that. Obviously you want to hit that and hit the mega jackpot. I like the pearl fishery. Yeah, that's a neat game as well. And then you got Willy Wonka and Plucky Ducky, along with Willy Crash. Yeah, but a little cramped if it's busy in here, it'll feel very, very busy in here. But a nice arcade. Right now we're at the wonderful Red Frog Rum Bar right here on the pool deck, having a couple tropical cocktails. Now I really like the menu here, but it's also drinks that I just tend to love is, you know, fruity rum drinks. Now pretty much everything on their menu will have about two shots of alcohol in there. So, you know, you are getting some bang for your buck. All the uh, cocktails are covered by the Cheers Beverage Program, as that'll cover everything, I think, up to $20. Yeah. And all these around. If you are a shopper on board the Carnival Sunrise, on deck five in the atrium area, that is the big shopping area. Um, on the far side over there, that's gonna be your kind of your fancy store. So a lot of jewelry and watches. Perfumes. Uh, cherry on top over there, that is the candy store. And then my personal favorite store on board is this one here, and that is the Carnival store. Let's go take a look. Now we are in that main shop, but they actually have a lot of merchandise. Uh, feels like a lot of newer merchandise. Mm -hmm. I do like all the different, kind of like the kids stuff over here. So you get a, a plushy cruise ship or like a bath toy, uh, fake Legos, a 3D puzzle. Kind of like a his and hers outfit, a neon. That's pretty snazzy. Yeah, no, that's nice. A lot of tumblers. I do like this as well. I haven't seen this before on a Carnival cruise ship. It's a spinning, Funnel ornament. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So we got some some more drink holders. You got the bottle popper. Ooh, the little backpack's nice. Some bucket hat. A small carnival wallet or itty bitty backpack. Look at that. You got a lot of like hoodies and sweatpants. That's kind of cute. Oh, it's a wristlet, the tiny backpack? Ah. That makes more sense than having a tiny, tiny backpack. <laughs> Towel clips. Something I've seen cruise ships starting to sell now are these. And this will be essentially a drink holder that clips onto your chair, like your your beach chair or your pool chair. It's great because it can hold any types of... Uh, yeah, there's different yeah. sizes. Yeah. Thank you very much. In case you forgot the swim trunks, they sell some nice swim trunks along with towels. The towels are nice. Uh -huh. You can buy a tiny Fun Ship Freddy keychain. <laughs> that is that fantastic. That was mascot. Yeah. And they do the cruise ship ornament. That's something Molly and I, we buy on every single cruise ship. Have you seen the hat? The hat is pretty wild. The hat is wild. <laughs> the dancing hat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You got the, the ship model, the fun speaker, I like that. It floats and it's like a Bluetooth speaker. Um, they're kind of going for, I guess, the Disney look with selling headbands. So right. the funnel on it. Now you do have a series of merchandise over here for the Carnival Sunrise itself. And a, Spirit jerseys? Yeah, and so I had the, some of the shirts are pretty nice. Carnival Sunrise hats. Moving along, I think that's most of the Carnival gear. You do have some, uh, Kind of more artsy style. 
It's done by the artist Brito or the company Brito. I'm not sure which one. It's a new line of merchandise for them. And they do have a series of stuff that is just like, you know, it's just kind of a normal shop. And then we get into some of the fun. They do have a uh, the duty free liquor store in the back, and I love the duty free liquor store. They do some different liquor tastings on different days. Man, that is uh, these are some outfits over here. Um, also in the liquor store area, they will send some toiletries. So if you've got your toothpaste or your deodorant, you can buy that over here. On deck four in the atrium area, you'll find the Pixels Gallery. So if you took any of the photos on board the ship, this is where you would pick them up. Also, it's home to the Java Blue Cafe, which is the coffee bar on board. A couple things I like in here from the Cheers program, they do sell Gatorades, and they're included. You could also get spiked coffees or spiked milkshakes. I love the mugs. Yeah, very similar like the You Are Here mugs that Starbucks does, except for a, you know, your specific cruise ship. I now, believe they have some pastries too. Yes, for sale, like, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, they don't have a library on board this ship. I believe this was the old library location, but they do have an area where you can get games, and then a couple of books, but you know what? They're missing a book, Molly. They are. Experience the Point, the unofficial guide to Cedar Point by our own Andrew Hyde. So we're gonna leave that here on the ship. Come find it here in the Java Blue Cafe. And wrapping things up, here is our cabin. We were in 2447, which was an interior cabin on floor two. A very big interior it's cabin. Giant. Yeah, like lots of room we have in here. There's a lot of space here. Mm -hmm and a very, very large TV for a cruise ship. With on-demand channels, yeah, uh, both, movie channels? Yeah, like both paid and free. So we watched mm -hmm. a couple of, couple of movies for free, which I really enjoyed. Um, there is a cooler down there. Be advised, it doesn't really make anything very cold. There is lots of storage uh, between the different cabinets and then the big shelves. Moving along to everyone's favorite part of a cruise ship tour, the bathroom. A very uh, serviceable bathroom, I would say. You get your toilet. You've got our swim trunks hanging from the line because I forgot to look in the bathroom before we finished up this part of the video. <laughs> and of course, the terrifying, terrifying, terrifying cruise ship toilet. <laughs> And that'll do it for our time on the Carnival Sunrise Cruise Ship, our four-night cruise. I really enjoyed it. I had yeah, a lot it was of fun. fun um, now, Molly, what would you say some of your favorite parts were about the Carnival Sunrise? Well, obviously the Alchemy Bar. The Alchemy Bar is amazing on any Carnival ship with how talented the uh, bartenders are and the drinks. A very friendly alchemist on this ship too. Uh, uh, Sophia remembered us on day two and took, could talk to us about anything on day four. Yep. So that was a lot of fun. The drinks were fantastic. Um, I also love how modern the ship feels. You know, all, all the, it, when they did their big refurbishment, they touched like everything. And the ship, while it's, it's older and smaller, on the interior, everything is sh shiny and new. I agree. Um, one thing that I loved, and maybe it was part of the refurb, the AC and the sports bar, very strong. Granted, there was no major sports going on, yeah, but so on the, some of the ships on uh, Carnival, that room gets so hot. But this one, wonderful AC. Um, it was also good because there was not a lot going on in that bar that you always had a bar you could go to. Okay, this bar is going to be, you know, peaceful and more quiet, and I could sit down and I get your drinks real quick. Um, I have lunch on the Carnival cruise ships. That's awesome. Yeah, all the free options. Oh my gosh, so, barbecue, pizza, buffet, a uh, pasta bar, lucky ball, tacos, deli. Mm -hmm. Oh man, so much food for lunch. I liked uh, how they had breakfast at Guy's Burgers. Not every cruise ship does that on Carnival. I think this is the only one. Yeah, very few do, but they have to do it because their buffet is so small. Yes. But delicious. I also like the main dining room food. I thought we uh, had a, we ate in the main dining room three nights, and every meal was pretty solid. One meal took forever, but uh, the food was really good. Yeah. Um, we got on and off the ship very easily. Yep, that's always important. You know, if you have a, you're have you sitting in that room waiting for embarkation for forever, it is not a fun time. Uh, some smaller stuff. I love that they have free on-demand movies in the cabin. Yeah, you could start and stop it mm -hmm. uh, when we leave. I enjoyed that the music was not on the promenade right by the, uh, the casino. Therefore, you didn't have to be in kind of the smoking section watching the music. Yeah, and I, had a, I thought they had a really fun deck party. They did a big 80s rock and glow party. It was really fun. I, uh, I'm i not a fan of like when the deck party is just like, oh, it's here. Now it's the cha-cha slide and the Cupid <laughs> shuffle. Yeah, the same dance parties. Oh, yeah, those are awful. But uh, this one, this one was a lot of fun. But those were the good. 
Um, there were a, a couple of things we did not like so much on this cruise. Uh, for me, the most noticeable one, there were so many kids. And the kids did kind of run wild. Yeah. They were everywhere. Yeah, running you know, running wild, parents nowhere to be seen, mm -hmm. and just like, oh, it, it, that doesn't feel great on No, and they don't have like a great, yes, they have the kids clubs and stuff, but um, there's no, death, like, they section. Well, they, they have the, the adult serenity area. Correct. But they were everywhere else. Yeah, and there, there was a lot of they them. They didn't have like an adult pool is what I wanted to get at. Yeah, that's true. And uh, there we go. It's also with the small ship, uh, you feel a lot of the vibrations and the movement. So if oh, you have some so rough seas, movement. yeah, the rough seas are you're sailing into and out of port. We were on deck two in the back of the ship. And whenever we were coming into a port, the ship would vibrate like an earthquake for like 45 minutes. Yes. So just be, be cognizant of that. If you're booking a room, definitely book it in the middle of the ship or the front of the ship. Yeah, I know the, the appeal of being, oh, you're in the back of the ship, you're close to the buffet. Don't do it. Don't do it. That ship will, <laughs> will, will vibrate you awake every morning when you come to a port. Yes, it does. All right, and that'll do it for our time on the Carnival Sunrise. If you're going on this cruise, if you have any questions about the sunrise, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys didn't watch videos like this, Molly and I, we couldn't go on that many cruises. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you guys very, very much. And stay tuned for the end of the video here because we screenshotted all the fun times and the menus.